peek on faith right quick, man. Right. Hey, look, I cut everything off. Just get it. It's ready to go. All right. Come on, got over here going up. They look good, do I? Let's see what let's see what you got going on. What you got? Man, we got a seafood uh, uh, dinner here. We got corn, shrimp, potatoes in there. We got some mussels. We got the big ears of corn. And we got some sausages. Hey, look at that boy. Me and KC and uh his wife Wanza and and uh, catfish and, and, and my wife and Faith and, and uh, Courtney, all that's gonna throw down. And a little shallow drinks. All right now, look at all that food, y'all. Did we do it, y'all? Hey, look at them nice big potatoes. Look at that, y'all. Hey, Juju! Yes, sir, hey. Yeah. Woo! Yes, sir. Hey, hey, we done had Juju pull up. That's what I'm talking about. He's in there, black. He's in there, black. He got fun in there. Yeah, yeah, we had him down there. And I mean, he's right. That, that rascal's right. I, I, I don't want to never let him go nowhere. He is right. Tank. Yeah. Now, now, let me show you something real quick. Oh, Catfish got it. He, he, we, we moved him here and stuff. Uh -huh. And put him down here. Uh -huh. yeah, get, uh, get away from him. Uh -huh. Put him a little bit further back. Yeah. Uh -huh. He just did that to move. Put that over there. That's more. But uh, come on right here, Cassie. Let me show you something. Real quick. I didn't want, yeah, I didn't want you to. You leave without saying, hey, come on. Oh, oh, that man right oh, oh, he'll tell you the truth. I mean, you got that the man. Man. He a man now. Uh -oh. and, 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 and catfish. I'm talking to his dad. I'm talking to his dad. Talking to his dad. A lot of people want to be KC now. When well, me and him got to the top. A lot of people want to be KC. I'm glad you came, you. A lot of people want to be KC now. I'm telling you. Me and Robert got to the top. A lot of people want to be KC. Me and Robert got to the top. A lot of people want to be KC too. That's all I got. Look, look, look. A lot of people want the big KC. Come on in here. Yeah. Come on oh, in the house. Live, you up and come. Come on, little man. Yeah. Yeah. It's an up and come. Live action, Tri City Bigger Boys. Y'all yes, got the catfish here. We got some special guests today, guys. <laughs> y'all been waiting to see Mr. KC and Juju up here. In person. So, guess what? Y'all got them. Y'all in introduce yourself. Juju, Introduce yourself. Juju, go ahead. Yes, sir. I'm Juju. I'm still learning how to rap behind those catfish and Mr. Robert teaching you. These guys are some of the best in the world. The best in the world. Keep calling and keep putting all that stuff on the videos, and I'm gonna teach y'all something later on. KC next. My name is KC, better known as the killer. Catfish patterned himself after me. I'm gonna tell it like it really is. He wanted to be KC so bad, but he became a grown man. And look what he's become a great rabbit hunter. Yes, sir. he took that out to KC when KC was a young man. Second to most. And now we have Mr. JR. Juju, son. I'm J.I., his son. Still learning. Still learning how to rap hunt, hunting. Enjoying. Enjoying it, trying to get a big buck. <laughs> All right. You're rabbit hunting now. All right. Big buck. You got the bigger man here. All right. And, and J.I., all I can say is, I hope you end up good as old, old bigger man one day. That's right. But your daddy going to teach you. Yes, sir. Old Juju know what he's doing. And if Juju can't teach you, then go to KC. Yes, sir. KC, KC, he's an old school hunter. And he, he know how to get them rabbits now. Now all you gotta do is keep an eye on him. Now old catfish, you got to watch old catfish though, because catfish will try to run around through the wood and get that rabbit from you, man. Go ahead on catfish. So trust the bigger boys, we had a couple questions come from the last video. Um, and I'ma let it, I'm gonna let the bigger man answer them now, and then we're gonna go in to tell stories um, fairly quickly about um, your first rabbit hunt. So that first question that had came out, um, actually we had a guy called in and asked the bigger man about kennel cough. Um, how do your dogs get kennel cough? Or, and, or how do you re, um, get your dogs rid of kennel cough um, once the dogs got them? And, and, and look guys, if the dogs have got to the point where they're sick or, or past the point of you looking at this video and getting the dogs well, take your dog to the vet. But if you can catch your dog early, the bigger man going right. to show you how to take care of it. That's right. That's right. All right. Just the bigger man here. Listen, uh, I'm telling you guys from experience, uh, 
I learned from some older guys in Virginia where I used to hunt with and also from the from some people here in North Carolina. When your dogs got kennel cough and they're coughing <coughs> and it's not regular, not not constant, you know, one minute right after another minute. If if uh now what you need to do, you need to go and get you some if they get the coughing like that, what you do, you mix up some honey and some Robitussin cough syrup. And you also put some lemon juice in it. Just you get a you take you take a little small cup and you put you put two two tablespoons of honey in there and you put about four uh tablespoons of, of uh Robitussin cough syrup and you put at least a, a half a teaspoon of lemon juice in there and you can also use a half a teaspoon of cinnamon cinnamon powder and stir that stuff all up and what you need to do you put a little warm water in there and and uh and mix it all up to where it becomes a liquid and it's not real thick and what you want to do is get you a, a syringe where you can not with a needle on it uh but a regular syringe where you can put in there in that warm in that warm uh, syrup and and draw it back and what you want to do you want to get you, you uh, it's according on what size dog you got. If you got a dog that's at least 10 pounds or more, then you want to give him at least one cc of that cough syrup it, through that syringe. You open his mouth, and the, the best way to do a dog when you open his mouth is put your hand over top of the dog's top lip and, and, and squeeze down on it just a little bit to open his mouth and shoot and go ahead and stick that syringe in there and just shoot it all right in his mouth, and he'll swallow that. All right, now listen to me. If the dog, now what you do with that, you get that dog that stuff twice a day. You get to him in the morning, and you give him uh, one cc in the evening of that same cough syrup. It, it will stop your dogs from coughing. All right, it might take a week, but you have to con continuously do the same thing. And, and, and uh, observe your dog and watch how he's uh, coughing or whether he stopped coughing. Now, if it gets to be too much, or if that dog is coughing real bad, uh, you can also get that dog uh, a shot of penicillin. One, one, only one time, give him one shot of penicillin, and, and it will help him, but also do, do the cough syrup stuff that I told you about, it will help your dog. Now, if that dog is, is, is beyond that, and he's coughing, coughing, coughing real bad, you need to get a dog to the vet. Uh, because I, I'm not a veterinarian. The only thing I can do is tell you what worked for me in catfish. All right? All right, what else we got? Um, we had from a, from a guy named Robert, he had asked, um, how big do you suggest a running pin be uh, once you get the dog started? He's saying this because he heard that if you get the dog started in too small of a pen, they will backtrack, um, backtrack on you. All right, so let me have it. All right, from experience, I've done it for years. What you all do, you get your you get your dog started, and once he gets started in the running pen, once he when I say started, I mean hunting. It, you see his tail wagging. He's hunting under the little brush. If you got brush piles in your running pen, all right, and once that dog gets started. You can put him in there two or three times and let him be interested in the rabbit and get real interested in it and let him see that rabbit a few times and run it. But after, if that dog is hunting real good in there and getting mouth on that rabbit, bring him out of the small pen and you can put him in a larger pen. Now when I say small pen, now myself and Catfish, we got a little half an acre pen that we train our dogs in. We put them in there a few times and once we get them started, we move, then after we get them started, we move them on to a, to a larger pen. And when I say larger, I mean the guy, that I, the guy that I go to, he got a seven acre running pen. And it's full of briars and honeysuckers and trees throw, cut down and everything. Well, if you put him in there, that, that dog should, is, is, should be hunting that rabbit just like you in the woods. And then you keep him in there once he starts in there and running pretty good in there. Bring him out of there, and if you want, you can put him in a larger pen, or you can put that dog in the woods behind some other good dogs. 
and let him get that let him get that experience in the woods with the other dogs, but get him packing. And sometimes it, it takes a little extra to get them dogs packing. But but you know, you you can tell what your dog's doing. And if your your dogs is not packing real good, uh in a in a in a, a big in a big running pen, all you got to do is keep keep carrying them dogs with your dogs that you're gonna run with. But listen to me. Another trick to getting your dogs packing is to pin that dog that's not packing with pin him up in the same pen with those other running dogs. And he will he'll get used to those dogs and he'll get used to the dog sound, the voice, and everything. And that, that also makes them that dog pack in with them dogs sooner. So try that and catch them dogs in the woods. Put them in the woods. Don't keep running them in that little pen because it will make them dogs backtrack in that little pen. Live action. Guys, um, y'all see that the light is falling. So I'm going to let KC uh, explain his first rabbit kill to y'all YouTube family. KC? All right. On my first rabbit hunt with uh, some rabbit hunters that are no longer with us, it was uh, the beginning of the Tri-City Beagle Boys. A uh, gentleman by the name of uh, Doug Walden and Pop Walden, father and son. Doug was my protege. He took me out and he was telling me about listening to the dogs and how they either gonna run to the left or run to the right, meaning they're gonna make a V8, a figure eight, some people say. The dogs were running, they had jumped the rabbit, and we were standing in the bottom. And uh, Doug was off to my right and I was to the left. And he was behind me and I was standing there and I was listening to the dogs. And when I heard them, I heard it sound like that they went and made a loop to the left. So I was looking out in front of the dogs, because you always look in front of the dogs, all you experienced hunters, you know that. And I saw the rabbit coming up. The rabbit came up and sat down on a stump. And when he did, I shot. I didn't say anything to Doug, and I startled Doug. And he jumped, and he wanted to know, well, KC, did you get it? I said, I think I did. So I walked over to pick up the rabbit. I walked over, picked the rabbit up, and came back. I said, yeah, I got him. He said, he looked at me twice. He said, well, you got him, you're a quick learner. So I said, I appreciate that. And I've been rabbit hunting ever since. And that's probably was, I was a grown man, but that was probably, my daughter is 27 years old. So I'm gonna say at least 29 to 30 years ago. And I've been at it ever since, and I love it. This is a big, uh, fun group of guys to rabbit hunt with. I also do, do deer hunting with Juju. We bow hunt, we uh, black powder hunt. We uh, turkey hunt. We do it all. I fish. I mean, I'm fishing now. I got a fishing trip going up to Virginia on the 20th. Uh, we are targeting uh, black drum and Kobe. That's just a few of my expert uh, expertise. I'm going to turn it over to Juju now because I'm getting a little tired to I'm grinning because hey, hey, I'm hey, having so much fun. It's all good. Juju, step in a little yeah, bit. Come in a little Juju, bit. Yes, sir. if you don't mind, explain to you the YouTube family when was your first rabbit hunter, rabbit kill. My first rabbit kill I remember was over 21 years ago. We hunted with uh, Thomas Murray Sr. Thomas Murray Jr. is my cousin now. We have dogs stuff together, we hunt together, plus with these guys, but it was in a little small town called Atkinson, down from Burgo. And uh, he carried all those young guys out. We had six black and tans, the real black and tans years ago. Mm -hmm. And the rabbit came across the little dirt road and ducked the dogs and went in the ditch. And I told Thomas that I seen the rabbit go in the ditch, so he told me to go kill it. I walked up on the rabbit, and he come out of that ditch at about 200 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, the dog seen him, so they was after him too. But he made a wrong turn and started to go back towards the field and had no words to go. And that was a cocktail. I killed him. I rode him in the field, one shot. And after that, I was showing up hooked because I love dogs. And I've been loving them for a long time. Plus, we did hunting. I got deer dogs too. And uh, rabbit hunting is a lot of fun because you lock closer, you get serious about it, and you're not spread out. And if you uh, be safe, you can have a whole lot of fun rabbit hunting. These guys are some of the best you're going to see out here. This guy here is too, KC. This is one of the up and coming. He's going to be right, in the number here. Hopefully this year, get his first rabbit and uh, we'll get another video going on. But it's a lot of fun. It's dangerous, but it's a lot of fun. And these guys are telling y'all 100% what's going on. And it don't get no better. So make sure y'all keep calling in. All so, right, then. All right. Live action, Trash City, Big Boys. I, I just want to say thank y'all to um, everybody that has bought a shirt, 
that has subscribed to the channel, that has liked any of the videos. Um, I, I, I thank you all because you all are the YouTube family. And, and try to see the bigger boys, we appreciate that. We got people all the way from, from, um, from Louisiana, uh, Alabama, Florida, North Carolina, Virginia, Maryland. Everybody is, is showing some love. And the guys, we, we appreciate that. We, we're just your normal everyday guys having a good time. Uh, so, so we say thank you to everybody. And, and one day it will be nice to get everybody here. And we, we eating it and having a good old time. And uh, I just want to say again, y'all, thank y'all so much for your support and for your love. Uh, just try to see the bigger boys. Everybody, everybody, look, we're going out. Everybody introduce yourself. Juju. KC. Jayon. Bigger man. And y'all know me, I'm the catfish. Just try to see the big boys. Woo! We'll see Live you back. in the woods. Live back. <laughs>